All right. Uh, this is a video uh, to show you how to use the default 747 autopilot in Flight Simulator X. Uh, all we're going to be doing is taking off, flying the pattern, and landing using the automatic approach feature on the autopilot panel. All right, we are at Albany International Airport, which is in New York. Uh, the code is K A L B K A L B. Um, the ILS frequency for runway 01, which is the runway we are using, is 109.5. Um, I'm going to go ahead and set both nav ones to 109.5. and switch as you can see it came alive down here okay now we can close this that's the only frequency we need uh, I have the GPS open that's just um, a visual aid for you guys so you can see where we are during uh, various things we're doing <coughs> uh, first thing we're gonna do is the switch right here we need to set this to nav, not GPS, nav. Um, that's for, because we're coming in on the ILS, so that's under nav. If we were using, if we were going to follow a flight plan in the GPS, we'd use GPS, but we're not. Um, as you see, we're on runway 01, which is an actual heading of 013. We're going to set our course to 013 because we're going to be landing on this same runway. See now it's all lined up. Set our heading to 013 also. So we're going to fly the runway heading initially. Flight director switch, turn that on. Auto throttle switch on. Set your desired airspeed. Uh, I'm going to set it to 240 knots. Our vertical airspeed is going to be, I'm going to set it for 2000. And our altitude, I'm going to set it 3500 feet. Shit. Okay, at this point, uh, hit the Z button two times. Um, there's one. Okay, now I know my autopilot is disengaged. I don't know if you're going to get the same alarm sound. I have a few other add-ons for sound, but um, PM sounds is one of them, and then I don't remember the other one, but they're both pretty nice. Um, this point, uh, engage your heading and engage your hold. That's going to um, set your ver it's going to engage your vertical speed so that you're going to climb out at 2,000 feet per minute and it's going to hold you at your runway heading um, and now when we take off the only thing you got to do is uh, gear up hit the speed button to keep your speed at your setting and hit the Z button once and by hitting the Z button you're going to engage everything that you have clicked here right now um, these are not actually engaged they're activated let's say uh, when you hit the Z button they're just gonna engage everything the only thing left now for me to do is uh, set my flaps it's a short runway so I'm gonna set full minus one and I'm gonna set the GPS yeah it's fine right there all right that's it so let's take off Normally you'd back the throttle off a little bit right here. You see how it's all red? Burning everything up. Uh, it's not going to hurt anything in the sim. And uh, I need all the power I can get for this takeoff. Alright, we're airborne. Gear's going up. 
the speed switch and hit the Z button. All right, at this point, I can let go of the controls. As you can see right here, uh, it's going to climb to 3,500 feet at a rate of 2,000 feet per minute, and we are at the runway heading. At this point, I can turn and make my crosswind. I can turn crosswind. Uh, get the plus and minuses over here. I'm just going to turn to about 105 degrees, which is about 90 degrees from where I'm at right now. So we're going to head off in this direction. And pretty much as soon as um, I make this turn, I'm going to go ahead and turn downwind, which is going to be 180 degrees from the direction I just took off in. Um, we took off at 013. Uh, we're going to be, our downwind leg is going to be 193. And I'm going to go ahead and go to 193 now. Alright, and now you can see the vertical airspeed is at zero. That's because we've reached our altitude set right here. And you can hear the throttles backing off because we have auto throttle set at 240 knots. As you can see, we can't see anything, which is fine. We don't need to. Right, I'm going to increase my airspeed to about 300 knots, just to speed things up here. Uh, shouldn't be above 250. Uh, below 10,000 feet, but it's a simulator. Alright, as you can see, we are headed downwind, parallel to the runway. Alright, now, if you look, Right here, it's showing the runways to the left. That's because we are on this side of the airport. Once we get next to it, you're going to see your runway jump to the right side. I'm telling you it's off to the right. So just watch for a sec, you'll see that happen. You see the glide slope disappears. And this is going to jump over here. Okay, now the runway's off to the right. And our glide slope came back, and it's saying that we are way above the glide slope right now. Um, indicated by this diamond being all the way at the bottom. When the diamond is right here in the middle, that means we are um, at the same altitude as the glide slope at that point. I don't know how to explain that any better. And we're going to wait until the diamond gets all the way to the top, which means we're going to be way below the glide slope and that's how I want to enter this approach because the default 747's autopilot is really finicky and you really kinda gotta help it along the way so we're gonna get lined up with the runway prior to um, getting lined up on the glide slope You can do it however you want, but...